it's a great tool for uh, for you for amateurs. Um, it's, you know, like like we were talking about yesterday. You know, anybody that like, oh, what should I do for my first? You know, yeah. I want to get into astrophotography. I'm gonna point them to a C star. Really? It's a yeah. it's a great entry level tool um, to be able to explore the night sky and be able to show your family and friends. You know yeah. what's out there. So I can't believe your little telescope <laughs> just fits in this box. It just, but yeah, it comes comes with this little carrying case. It's great for traveling. <laughs> All you gotta do is throw it on the tripod and and uh, tell it where you want to point. So how long have you had it for, Royal? Well, the club we've had it since since January. We've been messing with it for about a month now, um, and it is uh, uh, pretty impressive what what it can do. Um, it's about a 250 millimeter focal length. So it's got a ni nice field of view. We could see, we got the entirety of the keyhole of Eta Carina in the oh, frame wow. last night. Uh, and it can do solar as well with the solar filter. Right here. And it's a great tool for, uh, for, you, for amateurs. Um, it's, you know, like, like we were talking about yesterday, you know, anybody that's like, oh, what should I do for my first, you know, yeah. I want to get into astrophotography, I'm going to point them to a sea star. Really? So you don't have to learn the sky, it's got it all... Yeah, it, it knows where it's at, yeah. so it takes a second to calibrate when you turn it on, yeah. and you tell it exactly where you want to point, and it, and it, you know, it'll point at it, you start, you can start stacking images, yeah. 10 seconds at a time. And you'd be, you know, in a, in a couple of minutes, you can start to see a lot of detail. So it knows where it is, what time it is. Exactly. Does it, it does everything through the, through the Sea Star app. Autofocus, and you get oh, to yeah. keep the you, subs you have as well. to tell it to autofocus, but yes, it, yeah. it has its own autofocus routine. Um, it has a built-in light pollution filter. So depending on what you're shooting, you can turn on and off the light yeah. pollution filter for galaxies or or, or, or nebula. Um, and the battery lasts about. With the dew heater on, about three hours. Okay. So without the dew heater, it'll last a little longer. Can you run it off mains as well if you want to do a long you, So it, ha it you can plug in like a USB power pack, or oh. if you have um, like um, a surge protector with USB, you can plug the USB cable and oh. keep it charged up. Uh, or one of those little power packs, like for your phone, it'll it'll charge off of those. Cool. Can we um, do some do some solar. Yes. Is there enough juice? Yeah, yeah. There's enough juice. We can we can turn it on do some solar. Let me power it up. I might drop back a bit, then I can get you, you and the okay. sea star in the field of view. I tell you what, it's getting pretty hot for some solar, isn't it? Now? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. Let me grab the solar filter. So what are you doing now? Then you're. Uh, I'm <laughs> connecting to it via the sea star app so that I can open it up and get the filter installed and then I'll point it at the sun. So it, it generates a little Wi-Fi network that your phone connects to and then it can talk directly with the C-Star. Okay, so let me open it. And so you bought this as the club? Yeah, the, yeah. It's, um, Southern Cross. Yeah, Southern Cross. We, we, we bought one for outreach. But it's a perfect tool because a lot of times yeah, we have our 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 18-inch job, but for a lot of the, the the nebula, you know, it's hard for somebody who's never seen it before, you know, to explain to them what they're supposed to be looking at. Right. Versus in a couple of minutes, you're like, hey, this is what this is supposed to look like. And I imagine you can have loads of people all looking over your shoulder exactly, on the monitor. Exactly. Yeah, we could stream it to a to a TV or a large monitor. Um, and oh, here she comes. Yep. Does it have a name? Your telescope. We have not named it yet. Let me just get the solar filter installed here. So that's just one of those silver mylar things. Yeah, yeah, you? exactly. Yeah, just white, white light. No, so you won't be able to see prominences, but you can definitely see sunspots. So we just tap solar here in the app. It asks me to make sure that the solar filter is installed. And it's finding the sun. So all that learning you have to do with a telescope, when you buy a conventional telescope, yeah. it's all in the software here, so you don't have to do all this. Exactly. Shall I come around your side then, look, look okay. over your shoulder. Here we go. Yeah. Let me turn the brightness up so you can see. 
but it's finding the sun. We'll just take a minute. I like the way you build a little windbreak out of the <laughs> some fire bricks. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's definitely one thing we wanna we wanna do is get it on a sturdier tripod because the the wind is not not kind to it. That tripod's perfect for traveling, but it's so light that any little oh, breeze will will shake it around. Is there any benefit of having it taller, or um, you're not looking to it, is there? So you don't need any taller. Right? Yeah. No. I mean, well, taller would be nice. So like, for example, last night I had to go out to the beach to see Etta Karina. Versus the, these scopes were all able to see at Akrina from back here much earlier. Oh, because you were down there, right? Yeah, exactly. Knee height. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got the disc coming Oh, up. you got it? The disc is coming Oh, there it is. Don't know if I, if I cast a shadow. Oh, there we go. A long shadow. Is the sun in the center? Yes. There it goes. Let's run. Auto focusing. Autofocus really quick and you can see a couple of sunspots. Oh wow. Autofocus completed. There we go. You can take photos, take a video of the sun over a period of time, time lapse option as well. And it also has a zoom feature, which I'm fairly certain this is a digital zoom. And you can Go around the oh, disc. Oh, look at the sunspots. Yeah. And then just push of a button, you have a picture of the sun. Nice. That is amazing, isn't that it? That is, it's, it's pretty impressive. I've, 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 like I said, I've been experimenting with it this whole week and I'm very impressed at what, what this little guy can do. Yeah, can we see your Rita Karina shots as well while we're here? Uh, so I only got about a minute of it, but yes. But a minute's gonna be pretty cool. Oh yeah, it's the... I've got the phone, the camera settings on. Oh, and some moment ago was that as well? There we go, that's the keyhole. And if I stand in front of you again, somewhere in there, and yeah. behind my reflection, there you are. That's about a minute on the keyhole. Why am I not focusing? There we go. My block off. There we go. So that's a, that's Ida Karina a minute with that little scope. That's fantastic, isn't it? That is incredible. And any image processing, or is it just no, nope, just straight out of the the live stack? Really, that's so cool, isn't it? Yeah. Omega. That's about forty-five minutes of Omega Centauri. Oh wow, that's forty-five minutes, and you just leave, and it all. It, I, so I, that's simple, just live isn't stacking. It? I haven't done any processing to it yet. I have the individual frames to play with afterwards, but that's just a fresh out of the live stack. Yeah, I've got to turn everything, the settings down again. <laughs> it was a max to, <laughs> That's awesome, is it? So you'd recommend it? Oh yes, I would highly recommend this to a amateur astrophotographers looking to just to get to get a start. It's a yeah. it's a great entry level tool um, to be able to explore the night sky and be able to show your family and friends, you know, yeah. what's out there. Yeah, and yeah, for any beginners as well, isn't it? Yes. It's, yeah, perfect. That's awesome, and it's so portable. Yes, no, it's it's perfect for traveling. Uh, like I I I want to. I'm going to Dallas in April for the for the eclipse to stay with some friends. I definitely want to bring yeah. this guy for to, to watch the eclipse. That's <laughs> fantastic. Cool. All right, thanks, Raw. That's yeah. really cool. Thank no you problem. so much. So my thanks to Raw for taking the time to show us his absolutely wonderful sea star, and more importantly, my thanks to Rush Pal for being becoming my first ever Patreon subscriber. So my sincere thanks to you. So that means we have more resources to make our videos, we have the time to record and then edit and then publish our videos. So my sincere thanks to you both, uh, both Raw and Rushbowl for your support to, to Refreshing Views. Now as you can see that definitely was not in my garden, there were loads of palm trees in the background. That was at the Winter Star Party so I've got loads of footage to show you of you know the exotic southern objects we just can't see from the UK, some of the spring galaxies and some of the amazing telescopes. So the biggest one that I had to look at was the 32 inch and in that 32 inch you can actually see the jet, the relativistic jet from the black hole in M87. So if you haven't been to the Winter Star Party I strongly recommend it but I'll bring you more footage as I process those once my jet lag has has improved.